Yay, time for another update. All right. We still have these light hills that like floating down. Although, not as fast as everything else. Still have the can. Still have that. Right now I'm just getting out everything that I've already done. Still there. Still here. Yay, equipment drop. Also, I know I didn't point this out in the other video, but there's also a skull right there. You can see that. And then there's another, like, face right there. So, yeah. Just thought I'd point that out. Because I didn't point that out before. Alright, this and these walls are still here. Man, this is a lot of boring stuff before we get to the good stuff. I'll give you a hint. These edges aren't there anymore because this cardboard sucks for the edges. It's so hard to get good paint in there. Oh, by the way, I finished my landing pad. I added in some devil fish like burn tracks. So it looks like a devil fish has landed down there. This one's the most faint of them all, but still there. And then there's cups for that. Then a nice ladder. And that's how that turned out. The bottom's painted, of course, not the inside of the cup. And troops can actually fit pretty well in there. In fact, I'm going to go get some, so just be patient. Alright. First I want to show you the flamer I painted. I think it's pretty cool. Give him a close combat weapon because it still only counts as one close combat weapon, so it doesn't actually do anything. Um, I don't even know if does uh Flamer count as an additional close combat weapon? I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but it is an assault weapon, so I didn't or I wanted to ask like what it was optic there because I did Mechrite Red base layer, then Blazing Orge on the front part, and then Pad of Skull White on the back side of either one. So, yeah, I also did some blood effects on the sword. And that's the newest addition to my squad of painted marines. And so, as you can see, they can comfortably fit under this. So it's a nice piece of terrain for them. It also has nice shadow. And the cool thing about the shadow is, um, I, this happened in one game. I put a squad under there, and then the opponent that I was playing just completely forgot that the squad was there. And... By the way, this was a squad of Tau Fire Warriors. So then he had his um, Dreadnought come rolling around to attack my Hammerhead. And then these guys just jumped out with Strength 5 Rapid Fire Weapons, 24 shots, and blew up the rear armor. And so that's just a little Tau tactic. So as you can see, this is a squad of 10. And it doesn't even take up half the amount of space in here. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. So that's all the old stuff. Alright, yeah, it's also this old that. Anyway, the stuff that I'm working on right now is this is a new paint, paint palette I made out of a piece of foam board. Because I actually got this poster from school. Because there was a car wash and they had foam board signs and I asked if I could have them. And they said, sure, these are done. And I actually drilled small holes in it. See, the other side is perfectly fine. And then the small holes, but that is because this is flat, I don't want paint like flowing off of it. So the holes keep the paint on it so that they can go into the holes. So, yeah, that just keeps the paint on the palette. I also worked on this building that I need to repaint part of it because I thinned down paint and it didn't work very well. So there's still other parts I need to paint. I followed the mini wargaming thing with the new foam board I have. As you can see, it's a lot better. Although I still need to get some gray, which I'm getting for Christmas, which is going to be when I finish this. Then I'm going to get some sand and I'm going to base it. And I had some moss that I dry brushed on over there. And then some blood and things like that. Of course, this is all going to be covered, like the bottom part. Not including these bubble piles when I'm done painting it with sand, of course. The basing. So that's one of the buildings. This is another one I'm working on. This one has still been drawing because I used some paper mache on it. 
Um, I have a small foam board wall and I haven't painted it up any of this. And I decided to make the corner match up better, so well there's a little piece of paper here that if I put it down I'll show you. It's actually not very, you know, thick, it's really thin. And then I mixed in some different bits, like rocks and stuff in the sandy area, the rubble pile, and then I have this torn up piece of wall right there. And then when it's done drying, I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to add in more sand, just like I did with the other one, maybe burn up the edges of it, and then add on some grass and then give it a, this is a good um, tutorial for burnt grass by the way, what you do is you get some grass, like static grass, and then you just put like really thin down black paint over it, and then it'll make the grass a lot darker so it'll look burnt. So yeah, I still need to tear off some of the bottom parts here. Other than that, it's done. And ready for painting. Yay! So that's just an overview of my terrain. I just hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in our next video.